Candace Parker announcing her retirement. I, I mean, I want to talk about her for a second because eventually yeah. I want to ask you about your WNBA Mount Rushmore here. But let's talk Candace Parker. She is a first player I can remember consistently dunking in game. Now, Lisa Leslie was the first one I saw do it mm -hmm. in game, but it was such a monumental moment. Candace Parker is the first female player I can remember dunking on the reg and <laughs> in game and just making it normal. Mm -hmm. And then when we saw Brittany Griner do it and others do it now, it's not as impactful uh, because of what Candace Parker did. She made it normal. Um, uh, th that's really the thing I think of, and obviously a champion and all that other stuff. But I think about her just coming down the lane and just dunking it and how awesome that was for the game. When this news came, I said, whoa, because for me, as long as I can remember, yes. Candace Parker has been uh, been playing women's hoops and been on the biggest stage. I mean, think about her in high school. Think about her in Tennessee winning two national championships. Yes. And when I'm really growing up and sports are truly resonating with me, watching Sports Center after school, watching it before I go to sleep, or when I wake up in the morning, that's right. it would be Candace Parker highlights in a Tennessee Volunteers uniform which would be the regular in those days, yep. three-time WNBA champ, two-time NCAA champion, top 10 all-time, top five all-time, I'd all give her, in women's basketball history, only rookie to ever win, rookie of the year, Ooh. and WNBA MVP, but also at her size as a forward, but with handles of a guard, yeah. she revolutionized the game. You know, she Tough was the star before stars came to be, yep. and we're looking at everything like what – Stage Sabrina Unescu is on. Sure. Asia Wilson, who credits Candace Parker to who she modeled her game after. Yeah. To Kelsey Plum, of course, to Caitlin Clark. Candace was them before they got here. Absolutely. And she set the foundation for how much they will get paid eventually when they get a new CBA. But she was women's basketball, to me at least, growing up, my generation. Yeah. Wild to see her hanging up, but it's cool. You see a revolution from a college hoop star, WNBA star. Now she's doing the analyst thing. Yeah, and desk, she's great so. at that too. But uh, just the tenac tenacity she had as well, blocking shots, screaming, you know, rebounds, mm -hmm. in your face, uh, diving for loose balls. She was all over the place. Absolute stud to her. All right, WNBA Mount Rushmore. Candace Parker's on both of ours, clearly. Yes. Yeah. yes? Three-time WNBA champion. Yeah. She won one with the Sparks, one with the Sky. She wasn't playing with the Aces, but still, you got to see her influences there. Okay, so her la her there. last two titles coming after 35 do it for me. She was top, she was top 10 with one title. Yeah. Retiring with three, she's top four. So she's there for both of us. Diana Taurasi has to be on both of our lists. Diana Taurasi, three-time right? WNBA okay. champion, 10-time first team, all WNBA, five-time scoring champ, one team her entire career. Okay, so two out of four... We have duplicates here, right? This is where we differ. Ready? Yeah. Who's your third? I'm going Lisa Leslie. I like it. And I'm going Tina Thompson. I like it. Now, Tina Thompson, for all intents and purposes, I think, is one of the most underrated women basketball players of all time. Uh, you look up the all-time point scorer in the WNBAs, Diana Taurasi won and Tina Thompson, too. Mm -hmm. And no one really talks about her big picture when we have these conversations. So I'm going to give her some props here. And then Lisa Leslie, I already told you. I mean, she is one of those trailblazers that kicked the door in for women's basketball. Uh, an ambassador of the game. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, you can make a case for GOAT for Lisa Leslie. Mm -hmm. I think it's Tarasi personally, but you can make a case for Lisa Leslie. I wouldn't argue with you. So those are my four. Tarasi, Leslie, Candace Parker, Tina Thompson. Give me yours. Cynthia Cooper. Uh, oh, is my third, yeah. Four-time WNBA champion, finals MVP every yep. time, two-time league MVP. Her 20.9 points per game is the best ever per game average in WNBA history. She scored at every level, you know, brought the pick-and-roll game to the WNBA. That's right. And she never got to the league until she was 34 because after college, she started her career internationally where the money was. Right. And then finally came to the WNBA. Again, a different era there. Comes in, wins four titles, just one of the all-time greats. And I go Maya Moore. Four-time champion in a seven-year span, MVP, finals MVP, rookie of the year, five-time first-team all-WNBA, two-time all-defense, and what she did off the court as well. I mean, she was a so social justice leader. She was. Going back to 2016, remember with the Minnesota Lynx wearing the warm-ups, change starts with us. That was her response That's to the right. murders of Philando Castile and Anton St Alton Sterling. Yep. She also had a Dallas police shield on there, too, because of the five police officers that were killed during That's a Black right. Lives Matter protest that they were working Stepped away from the game, overturned her husband's, future husband's wrongful conviction, and she retired to do that full time. So she's a GOAT all time off the court 
and a go all time on the court. So my Mount Rushmore, Candace Parker, Diana Taurasi, Cynthia Cooper, Maya Moore. Can you imagine if Maya Moore never stepped away? She'd have seven titles. Yes. Yes. Like she won four in a seven year span. If she right. never walked away, five, six, seven, maybe eight. I don't know. You know, she goes in that conversation of a lot of athletes that we talk about, you know, later on down the line. And we say, boy, what if Jim Brown had played longer? What if Barry Sanders had played longer? What if Jordan didn't play what baseball? If Jordan that never left for baseball, right? Mm -hmm. She goes in that conversation too of if she never walked away from the game. And, but, you know, obviously we respect what she did. And that's what I was going to say. You think about why she yeah. walked away from the game is just like absolutely amazing. You know, grew up in Jeff City, Missouri. Obviously, you know, went to school where she did, but just was elite 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 oh. at playing on the court but everything she was doing off of it as well i mean like the impact you can say plenty of athletes do something great start their nonprofits, raise charity and stuff but like she actually went out there made a difference happen and it was just she was at all time at both which two of the hardest careers professional athlete and then being a lawyer whatever she was doing hey this draft class we just saw go in though they have a chance to crack <laughs> this over time